All right, y'all, man, I'm back, man, T-Rail. I got a special guest with me here right now. I got my boy J3, man. You hit know, him. yeah, hit a, it's hit been a him. long yeah. time coming, man. And my boy, for sure, deserve to be sitting in this seat right here. Yeah. Man, let this man talk about it, man. He been through it all. But, yeah, we finna hear a story right now, man. What's up, man? How you been, dude? Man, I'm good, man. I'm just working, man. Developing, man, to the greater me. Yes, sir, man. I mean, you've been growing since. I mean, cause you, you, since I've been knowing you, is you, you been thugging. Yeah, nigga been thugging, man. But now, nigga twelve, got a transition, eleven. Man. I got to yeah. transition, man, and get full fledged into this music. Oh, okay. See, and that's what I've been talking about with my homies, man. I've been bringing a lot of my homies up here, and I be asking niggas, are you one foot in? Are, are you just are you dedicated to music yet? You know what I'm saying? Because niggas be fully in the streets. Yeah. Niggas love their homies. Niggas don't want to leave their homies behind. And I understand that shit. You feel me? And I know how that shit get in the ghetto when niggas be like, hey, homie, you know what I'm saying? Niggas leaving niggas behind, blah, blah, blah. But you do got to take a certain stand for yourself, nigga, at some point in life where you got to be like, I'm taking this shit serious and this shit going to bring us, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring y'all with me when it's time. And, yeah. and, and then when it's time to shine, y'all going to see. You feel yeah. me? You at that point right now? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I got it to where it's like my selective few of niggas already know what it is. Like, we going to the top right now. Like, yeah. we ain't waiting. Mm -hmm. And the niggas who we know ain't built for it, we going to bring them when they ready. You know what I'm saying? When they could adapt to this shit. You feel me? Yeah. Because everybody ain't comfortable with this whole scenery, the whole music shit. Everybody's so caught up into the life. Niggas is used to it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't looking forward to nothing else. I uh, yeah, when I was doing this shit too, and you know, I was bringing some of my homies, and I was telling like, I be, I had to tell certain niggas, they'd be like, "Hey, you can't go." No, you, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody like, can't. Yeah. And it's just certain niggas. You got to... a point there, like, "Hey, I, I, I fuck with you." Oh, blood, yeah. I fuck with you, blood, look, but you can't go. I used to be one of them niggas, though. Oh, you no, was, was you was one of them. He, niggas. I was one of them Bro, niggas. I don't know J three. I know Don Don yeah. from oh, the see, West. Yeah, man. yeah. I was one of them niggas that yeah, little sometimes nigga. they'd be like, nah. He a little too high headed, like yeah, yeah. Nigga had to grow up, man, and start standing for something other than just the negative shit. And I, I, I when I used to see you around too, you know, and I, I start getting familiar with you and on what, what the case may be, you know. First time meeting you, whatever. You really didn't know. We shook hands, whatever. And you probably don't remember. And I followed you, right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? I followed you. <laughs> yeah, I remember you. I, you know, look, 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 look. Yeah. I remember you. Spoke I, I'm you, telling you right now, since we on camera, you. motherfucker. He you. No, 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 he didn't look. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something crazy. Yeah. Nigga, hold right. on. So I follow him. I'm liking his pictures. I'm like, I'm trying to get in tune with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I fuck with the power room niggas. I fuck with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? My, all my relatives from power room or whatever the case may be. They from fruits, whatever. You feel me? Yeah. So I'm like, I'm trying to get into it. You feel me? Like, And I'm liking the pictures. I'm like, oh, he ain't fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. commenting on my nigga. Nah, he man. ignoring me. I'm like, Hell, oh, nah. nigga ain't I'm you like, you know never, what? You, you I'm gonna unfollow this nigga. You, you know what I'm saying? Him? I'll follow that nigga. I'm like, I'm following this nigga. Cause <laughs> hey, I fuck hey, with this hey, nigga. I hate that shit. I follow this nigga. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is, man, don't judge me off Instagram, uh, man. But I say, you know what? He gonna come back around. No, I do that same shit, him. too. I do that yeah. same shit, too. Yeah. Don't judge me off Instagram. Look how God work, man. Yeah, look how God work. I say he gonna come back around. We come Back around, boom. You I like my shit to be genuine, though. You feel me? I don't yeah. really like the Instagram relationships. Like, a lot of that shit be fake. I'm starting to see, like, a lot yeah. of the rapper vibes, and it don't be genuine. It's sincere. So a nigga just, you know, accept it for what it is and keep pushing. You feel yeah. me? And your name been ringing bells. I mean, you ain't you have some songs, and even before your songs, your shit was ringing a bell. Like you said, nigga, Don Don, mm. niggas was running around, niggas yeah. knew you. Who you was, you feel me? I appreciate me? it. Yeah. Freestyling, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I used to be on that. Like, Little nigga. Real, real monster. Like, that's all I wanted to do was rap. You feel me? Hanging out in the hood, I'd be rapping all night. I'm talking on the block late at night, two mm -hmm. in the morning rapping, three in the morning. Every hood day functions, I'm performing, you know? But a nigga had to start understanding, like, it's more to it than just rapping about the hood and, you know, just the bullshit. Nigga got, got to start surrounding real aspects in his life like shit a nigga didn't went through homies out here niggas ain't here for their kids shit like that like niggas who got life for this shit like niggas ain't never coming home ain't, ain't looking forward to it you know what i'm saying what was the day that shit clicked in your head where you said you know what i gotta do something different man hey that nigga modi calling <laughs> thump I, I feel like uh 
Shit, man, it probably really hit me when I was 16. But, you know, I keep finding myself, you know, getting involved. But as I got older from there, I start seeing like, damn, I should have been did this. Like, I should have been jumped on it the way I feel about it now. Like, yeah. but I had to sit down with a nigga like J-Rock, like J-Rock. And a lot of niggas don't expect to, you know, receive inspiring shit from niggas like them. Like, you know, cause niggas just be on some street shit. Niggas just be looking at it like, oh man, we gang banging. Like, mm -hmm. I seen him at uh, Denny's one day at like late night, like probably like six in the morning, five in the morning, somewhere in like probably Burbank somewhere. Yeah. And I just stopped right there hungry, getting some food. And when he seen me, uh, he just was like, man, what's, what's up with it? I'm like, man, I'm working, man. We got to get one, but we never, you know, officially made it official like that. So I just picked his brain like, man, what you think about this, man? Like, I want to know, like, what did you learn from this shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Where Where is you at with it now? Like, how yeah. you get to where you at? Like, how you be so ambitious? Cause I, I fuck with your album. I, I really been listening to him since, when he first came out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Really, him and Nip, like J-Rock and Nip was really two niggas who really made me go harder too. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the West Coast at the end of the day. So that inspired me as a young nigga, like just seeing them putting on like, Nigga, I used to be watching they roll all that, like, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Really, like, damn, nigga, one day I'm going to do this for my hood, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And your story is real inspiring, so I'm like, we got to get him here because I'm doing my research and I'm doing my due diligence and I'm on there, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I got to ask this nigga some shit. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, this nigga ain't got no motherfucking... <laughs> <laughs> no interviews, no I got, nothing. I you know got what I'm saying? One interview with the homie Johnny. I, um, we, yeah, yeah, and I know that. Shit. So yeah. with with saying that, I'm finna start doing more. That's crazy. Crazy. No, but with saying that, we gonna start it here. That part. You know what I'm saying because we need to know y your story from the beginning, nigga. So why not? Started here, nigga. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? With the homies, us. Let niggas know, you know what I'm saying, about you from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Coming yeah. up, Don Don from the beginning. Cause we was we all had stories. Well, y'all was finna get into it right before the cameras cut on. And mm -hmm. it was just like my whole family from this shit. Yeah. So we wanna I wanna know about, you know what I'm saying, little you growing up, you know what I'm saying? Leading you. into this shit. I got you. Shit, man. Coming up, man. Uh my big brother was from the hood, you know what I'm saying? So his name J-Man, you know what I'm saying? You might have heard of him. Shit, you do your research. He uh, had album with uh, uh, Lil Wayne, Baby, Dub C, Mac-10, E-40 on his album. So I'm a young nigga looking at that, you know what I'm saying? Including looking at my brother being a, a member mm -hmm. affiliated with a known gang. And at the time, I didn't really know what the gangbang shit was, you know? Just like, you know how you could come up in it and you don't really know what you a part of till you actually, you know, witness it with your own eyes. Like, what it come with, you know what I'm saying? So, I looked at it like, regardless, my big brother, niggas gonna always be like, shit, that's J-Man little brother. So I'm automatically, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas gonna automatically be like, nah. Nigga, niggas will treat me just like any other nigga from the West, you know? Cause it's gonna hurt them. So I looked at it like, shit, I'm I'm from this shit. You know what I'm saying? Without me even being affiliated, getting put on anything, I jumped off the porch already who I was, you know what I'm saying? From the hood. I ain't get put on nothing, but I'm born and raised in the hood. So from there, uh, looking at my big brother doing the album and uh, mixtapes, he had the snatching beats for ransom. He was stopping, uh, sitting at stores, hanging out, selling shit out the trunk. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing that, and that just pushed me to like wake up and be like, damn, this shit, I could do this one day. I was a young nigga recording on a on a tape player. You know what I'm saying? Recording with the beat in the background, all that, like recording my own shit, inspired. Like, so from there. Uh, after my brother dropped his album or whatever, he found himself going to prison for 25 years. Mm. Um, you know what I'm saying? For robbery. I remember that too. Yeah, he was all over the news, all the shit. They had warning bulletins uh, up for him, all the shit. Uh, all in like Orange County area. Like they had like 40, 50 counts of robbery. What's my uh, nigga name he was with? Otis? Yeah, Otis. Mm -hmm. Otis was on that case. Yeah, but. Uh, you feel me? My brother and his little homie, Lil J Man. I'm J3. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm baby J Man. So was moms and pops in the house with y'all? Uh, 
me and my brother got a different pops, but yeah, his pops was around. Like, you know what I'm saying? His pops was the one who was pushing him and investing into him to do his shit. And shit, I expected that, but then I looked at it like, shit, I gotta work for mine. I ain't even expecting no nigga to put me on, hand me nothing, you know what I'm saying? Just cause you feel like I deserve it or I can go and get it, like, you know what I'm saying? And make it happen for us. I still felt like, shit, I gotta make it, make everybody a believer, even him, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting him to do nothing for me. He didn't put me in the studio here and there, but I could catch the whiff of when a nigga selling me a dream and when it's real, you know what I'm saying? So I caught that and it was like, shit, I'ma just keep working on me. And I just kept going, kept going. Shit, I used to be on Twitter, sending my shit to everybody, like people who mentioned it, Kendrick, I'm sending my shit to them. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Like So during your high school days, you was rapping and shit? Yeah. And you was doing your thing? What high school you went to? I went to the 10, Centennial. And oh, then my yeah. mama moved me to Moreno Valley. I was really gang banging. And this shit was dangerous that, back then. So my mama moved me to Moreno Valley thinking that to help a nigga. And shit, she started going through the motions. And once my brother went to prison, feel me, my mama started doing drugs and shit. So that shit just pushed me to keep going harder, like, you know what I'm saying? Cause shit, my mama stopped taking care of me at a point in time, you feel me? I ain't had no daddy or no mama at the time, you feel me? So all I had was the hood. Yeah, how did that shit affect you when you was young? Shit, that shit affected a nigga differently, man. I started just going out selling drugs, you feel me? Selling drugs, that's how I got pop. I got pop, I was sneaking selling weed. At what age? 14, <laughs> 14 years old. Coming outside selling weed in the, in the neighbor's yard, but it was the Hoovers and shit. A nigga always heard niggas say they fuck with power rules, so I felt like it was love. And the homegirl gave me a sack, and I just posted up in the front and dumped my shit because it was rolling like that over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So from there, just sitting in the front, my mama told me, you're going to come in the house at like 10 o'clock. 9.45, I got shot. That's crazy. And when you got shot, was that like, was it like super crazy to where you like, you had to heal up or anything hell like yeah, damaging hell to you? Hell yeah, I lost, uh, I lost my gallbladder. That's like the shit that hold the grease and shit in the, in the food. Uh, my diadernal was damaged like the shit that break up the food. Like, um, it could have hit my biggest vein. Uh, my shit was fucked up, bro. They called me a model patient. Cause I wasn't supposed to survive. Like they said, like I only lived because I was so young and my body healed fast. So that's the only reason why I'm here. Like, did that shit make you better or worse? Um, at the time, shit, I, I felt like God was giving me a calling. So I learned from that. Like, shit, it's time to go harder. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even with this pain, I can't. You know, I don't regret it. Yeah, it helped me. You know accomplish the shit that I done did in my life, you feel me? Just being able to survive, being a teenager, shit, nigga like shit, I can't complain. Even with the wounds, my body will never be the same. Sometimes my stomach hurt, it's good, like, you know what I'm saying? God ain't gonna give me something I can't handle, so I'ma just keep rocking and keep stepping. Oh, shit. So when you, you know, as far as rapping, like, what did you feel like was your first accomplishment in this shit? You know, like, you know, like, fuck, I'm entering this shit and this shit is, is, is gaining traction. Shit, uh, when I was doing my shit, see, Kendrick grew up in the hood, like, really grew up in the hood. And him and my brother had a relationship. And they used to be doing their little rapping thing. But... When my brother went to prison, Kendrick reached out to me on his own. I used to be walking through the hood every day, so he really lived on one of the blocks that I used to walk up and down every day, and he just seen me walking up the block like, hey, you J-Man, little brother? Like, what, What's Kendrick's name from Westside? He don't got no name. <laughs> he trying he to set no him name. up. He don't got no name. Like, we ain't even, got oh, we ain't he even, trying we to set him no up. Name. We, call him, we call him Dot. We call him Dot. Oh, I almost got we you. Call that's, him hey, that's K Dot, man, forever, man. We call yeah. him Dot. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's shit. It. Uh, he started sending me beats and shit. And then I started doing the records that he was telling me about. You know what I'm saying? And he Dot. felt like, yeah, Dot was sending me beats. And then uh, at the time, he jumped on my mixtape. 
Like, I was one of the first niggas getting Kendrick on a record. Like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck sure. free. You know what I'm saying? Come on, the white man got fucking flies in here, y'all. Yeah. Shit crazy. Get your shit together, man. It's flies in this motherfucker, Adam. <laughs> but yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, so shit. Niggas just kept going, you feel me, and pushing it. Kendrick started seeing like a nigga was serious about it. So he didn't bring me out at shows. He didn't bring me out on Vegas, rehab. Uh, on stage, went up big. I was fucked up. I got into a bad car crash on the freeway. My car broke down. Somebody hit me from the back. Um, I was fucked up on crutches and all that. He called me from Vegas like, man, come to Vegas. I'm going to bring you out at rehab. I'm on crutches. I put the crutches down. <laughs> yeah. me? Went on stage, my whole face, a scab and all that. Still went to go perform. Damn. And, and then uh, he brought me out at the observatory for his show. When he was doing the observatory and shit. Yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker cracked me. Man, them motherfuckers eye. might be. They motherfucker cracked me in the eye. That motherfucker might be working with the people or something, man. That motherfucker is trying to get close, huh? Oh, man. My game right here, Modi. Yeah, yeah. So uh, from there, shit, just seeing that, like, damn, like, nigga, seen what he meant. You know what I'm saying? I, I never expected him to do it the way he did it. But I always had faith in him, you know what I'm saying? So I knew eventually he was going to do the unthinkable. Yeah, because he hopped on that Do Your Gutter remix. And That's that shit, another thing, YG too. YG, Problem. That's another that shit, thing. Yeah, that shit was hard. Like, That's another thing. But he did a lot for you. But yeah, he put me on his album, album cover. Yeah, he put mm -hmm. me on his album. Yeah. So, so it's like he was, I felt like he music was doing videos. shit that could help me and was going to see what I'm going to do about it. Did you feel like you wasn't doing enough? I mean, shit, when you waking up every day and you in the field and there's a war going on and niggas still getting killed, you don't care about what nobody think. You Did know? you explain that shit to him? Like, you know what? I know you, I know he helping me. I know you doing your thing for me, but it's hard for me. I'm struggling over here. I know you really can't give me no money. I know you helping me do these songs and shit. I ain't but, never asked him for no money, nothing. And I know he'd give us whatever we want. But yeah. I look at it like at some point in my career, he going to do the unthinkable again. Yeah. So just like he jumped on the uh, the Do Yo Gutter at the time, YG and Problem had a thing going on, you know. Mm -hmm. We was trying to defuse that situation, you know, just showing that we all for the West Coast. Now, Kendrick did that if they was going to come to an understanding. You know, he did the verse regardless, but we was going to get the video. The videos was going to take us out of here. Feel me, but they couldn't come to their understanding. I'm gonna keep it G. The homie told me take his verse off if I'm a key problem on there, but I just let it go. You know what I'm saying? I felt like shit. Streets deserved it, so I just dropped it. Oh, YG told you to take that shit off if problem was still on there, but that was a Kendrick verse on there shit too. But Kendrick, what Kendrick wasn't at the height he was. Kendrick was, he, he was, was, he was, was there. He was still, he, he still, was still was. Boom. Nah, was I would have did the same thing too. Like that, nigga, that like shit is boom. going. That was after his first album. But out of yeah. love for me, Kendrick just felt like if they couldn't, you know, have an understanding, then you know he just gonna go about it his way. So yeah. where, where you feel like you at right now in your career, you know, after all the shit he's been done for you? I feel like I'm just growing. I'm growing and I'm seeing what's best for me. And I know he in my corner. So I just got to keep uplifting myself. I got to keep pushing myself. Are those positive words still there for you from, from him? Yeah, I just sat down with him probably like uh, a month or two ago, something like that. When I pulled up on him at his studio or whatever, let him see my new shit new shit I'm working on before I drop. I know he watching. Even when niggas don't know he watching, he watching. So yeah. you just gotta keep going. Keep going, keep yeah. going. And another thing, he posts my shit. He posts my shit mm -hmm. on his Twitter, my projects. Like, he ain't, you know, he ain't fake with it. Where you at with your shit? Like, your own label, as far as artists. And you, you independent right yeah, now. Yeah, huh? I'm independent. Yeah, like being independent, like tell me some, you know, some things like some hardships it is, you know, with being independent rather than being from a major. I mean, shit, I look at it like the loyalty is everything. So if I could get the loyalty first, the money could come later. Like 
and I got niggas that's got money. I, I got a bag, like, you feel me? I make my niggas feel like if I got a bag, we all got a bag. So, mm -hmm. you know, regardless what anybody doing for us, I'm gonna make us feel like that. You know what I'm saying? So, TML, they always been pushing me from day one. Like, the homies, they had their own little thing, little shit going on, labels and shit, but TML was the first ones to actually grab me, put me in position, put a roof over my head, make sure I could make my homies feel like they a part of something, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was priceless to me, you feel me? So it was bigger than a major. Like, cause a major, I didn't have, you know, meetings and shit, but it gotta be talking right. Cause I got families to take care of. Bro, Not was, just my family, I got families, homies with families, feel me? This ain't just about me. So if, if a motherfucker can't understand that, and shit, I wait my turn. I mean, a lot of people look at the shit that's going on in the industry. Niggas getting killed, all that. Like, maybe it ain't meant for me to just be big, big yet. But I'm gonna get there. And if I don't get there, then I'm gonna uplift somebody around me to get there. Real shit. And I ain't tripping. If if this what God got meant for me, and I'm gonna just rock out. Like, I ain't gonna complain about it. Even if I see my nigga blow, I ain't gonna look at it like, oh, I didn't blow. If he blow, I blow. Well, I'm glad you're talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers putting you on or Kendrick helping putting you on. Because, you know, your recent uh, post, which you were saying, uh, is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting to it. <laughs> you know were saying, uh, you know what I'm saying? What West Coast rapper had, do you know put on another West Coast rapper? You know what I'm saying? And you, ha you got one comment from Joe Moses. That you ain't say, you know, you, you was from AOB and you was from AOB too. So I want to really hear. I still got the you know shit tatted on me. See, I want to <laughs> really hear these, you, these comments from you because Joe Moses feels. I was young all out. But look, hold mm -hmm. on. Joe Moses really does feel, and he's done. I, I ain't going to say he feels. He's done a lot for a lot of motherfuckers. I mean, as far as verses, as far as videos, as far as clicks, putting niggas on crews, introducing motherfuckers and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Put motherfuckers in a loophole and this and that and the other. And you and him had a little back and forth to where you just was like, you know what? Nigga, you ain't helped me. You know what I'm saying? I was from that shit, but uh I wasn't when I wasn't from that shit, you charged me. You know what I'm saying? I just wanna I, I want you to break that down. You feel me? It's like a prime example of this. A D was right there with me. So A D know what I'm talking about. And he know that regardless, I was with them, but what did that actually do for me? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if I paid for a feature, you saying that's helping. That ain't helping, that's something I paid for. So if I was a part of your movement, I didn't been in situations, life or death situations with you. I just expected more love, like. And then once I start doing my own thing, like I said, Start doing my own thing, and I still included him in my rise. You know what I'm saying? Just showing him that I did it. I mean, I'm 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 able to at least come to my hood and make my homies feel like, yeah, we going somewhere. And shit, I just felt like shit. I don't know what what was going on because we never left All Out. All Out had their own thing going on. It's true. And then from there, we was just forced to accept it. What we was gonna do, just keep sitting, and we'd just be sitting around like, damn, where the movement go? See, I feel I feel the same way. Like, looking back at everything when we was around that situation and stuff, like, Joe at the time, too, he was still a baby, you know what I'm saying? That's another thing. Leading babies, you know what I mean? And, and we got 20 niggas from, from the crew, and everybody, you know what I'm saying? Gang it's banging. like gang banging. Niggas going, gang banging. We going places getting rock <laughs> outs and all that. <laughs> doing everything. Niggas then came in the party rocking it out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was risky. But it's like, all right, bet. I'm from Bompton, though. No disrespect to L.A. I was with L.A. niggas. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know nothing about what they got going on or nothing. No, no, this no. was about music. I was working on... You know, being an artist. So I expected more, you know what I'm saying? But okay, if we gang banging and I'm gonna adapt to that too. But you still being from AOB, you still feel like you had to uh 
create your own relationships in the music game, nigga. And I did. I did. Because if we being real, like I said, Hootie was signed to Walker. So, it's true. And Hootie been putting me on shit. Hootie been speaking highly of me. So Walker fucked with me off the jump, off the rip. So I just felt like, how did I get a look or any type of shine from that? I look, look, I look. I, I, I mean, I was with them. I was going yeah. places with them. We outside. But it wasn't like nobody just, oh, yeah. Yeah, this J3, yeah, he, he next to blow. Like, See, and I went through the, I went through the same shit when it came down to bro. And the way I look at it, I was like, damn, you you can't join nobody movement but that's another thing and too. make they movement move with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it wasn't designed and built for us to 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 really win in that situation. There ain't no disrespect, but it's like he was still trying to make himself come up. You know what I'm saying? You that can't part. really you can't really make how could you really help me and help him and help everybody down the and line that's another if you're not, you know if what I'm saying, establish yourself? A, if I'm seeing it's a lot of niggas around you that's, you know, they looking forward to being like the next you. And that's something they working on, still working on, then I better, I'm better off working on myself. You know what? And I, I, I commend him for, you know, saying, you know, a lot of that shit was him too, you know, during them past, you know, motherfuckers was kind of like, you know, I got immature to the though. shit in, in the game. But it's just like some motherfuckers do feel like, and I was hanging around motherfuckers that was feeling like that too. Like, hey, you know what, nigga, it's enough for you just to be around me. You know what I'm saying? And you, you just being around, motherfucker, is me like doing something for you because you wouldn't be. What the fuck would you be doing otherwise? See, but I look, it's it. It's, I look at people's intentions. If your intentions was I want everybody to win, and then. Going circling back to what we were talking about earlier, you got to tell certain homies you can't go. And I remember, bro, being with bro every day, and when Walker would come, you feel me? Like, you can't go. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, oh, nah, he told but, you you couldn't go. Yeah, like shit, like, but bro, we nigga, we used to, how deep we used to be? We used to be Hit thick as We used fuck. to be 30, 40 deep. Everybody can't come with that. But then you, it's not until you do some shit yourself, and then you put in that leadership position, and then you got 20, 30 homies now, and you got to tell the same people, like, damn, bro, I can't bring everybody. I can only bring three, four people. You know what I'm saying? It's different being a soldier. And it being was sometimes, like I said, I was a wild young nigga. <laughs> so it'll probably be a day I can't go. <laughs> yeah. But for the most for the most part, I was on the scene because I, I'm i pulling up. I'm pulling up. I ain't even have a car. I'm every I'm, I'm way over here. I'm getting dropped off. From those situations, man, how would you treat your artists now? Like, what 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 would you motherfuckers do, you know, if the if the tables turn right now? So you won't make a motherfucker feel like that. Because I I know you probably think you're doing so much for I your mean, people and your I artists. I learned from... I learned sometimes I just sit back and, and it's other artists on my label and I make it about them. I make it about them. I push them. My homies, when they dropping, I know I got new shit I could drop and post all day. It don't matter. I'm going to post they shit. I'm right. a, I'm a, I'm, I, ain't, I ain't too big for nothing. And, and I feel and like cause, I Yeah, because that's a problem, right? When motherfuckers got to post a nigga shit and you got to ask a nigga or... I some shouldn't people, even be asking you, some nigga. Shouldn't be like that. Shit. Shouldn't be like that. Shouldn't be like that. Some you people feel like that. Some people really feel like that and get offended by it. I'm not one of them type of people. Yeah. But I pay attention to those type of people who are judgmental about it, and they don't do the same, but they can speak on it. That's real shit. How's your recording process now, man? How much music you feel like you got to put out now in this day and age? Because this shit is going crazy. Do you feel like you got to wait? Or, you know what I'm saying? Are you just going to, like, spread it out, you know? Or just I mean, get it, get right it now, I feel like we, we need to just flood them. Flood them. Flood them. Keep it going. I've been dropping shit. Like, I got shit that I've been dropping by myself. A uh, few features. That shit with EST. Uh, certified Steppers. Um, that shit with Mozzie, always. Shit, I got in the field with Mozzie. Shit, nigga. Man, Mozzie, you're a real one, though. I, I mean, got some shit with Mozzie Doughboy, one, Free yeah. Bands in the cut. I got some shit with E40 in the cut. Like, nigga, nigga be working. How you like? How you plan your rollout? So, I mean, as far as you being independent and shit, I mean, I know you got motherfuckers that fuck with you. Like, damn, like, you know what? I know how that shit big, be, Big, big names. 
I know how that shit be too. Like that's another thing. Like I done had a side on some shit, but his situation with T Grizzly, I couldn't put my shit out. The video like that. So they gotta get all that shit, you know, approved. And now he out his shit, you know, we can get it going, we can work. Do you feel like you should be from a major label? Or are you just waiting around for that deal or are you just gonna do what you do it like, you know? If it if it if it fall through and it makes sense, we're gonna rock out. But if it's money that we already got, then shit, I'll rip up the contract. I ain't, I ain't <laughs> desperate for nothing. Hey, bro. Yeah. I like your thought process of how you just like, man, I'm going to take it how it is. Because a lot of people be trying to do shit that they can't even control. You know what I'm saying? You can want, 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 want. But if the stars ain't aligning like that, man, you're going to have to shift the shit and do that. But when it come down to some real independent shit, I want to commend you, bro. Because I, I, I remember coming to your uh, listening party, bro. And that shit looked like a major label listening party. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The way they had it set. The you know what I'm saying they had the open bar. It was a nice fly ass studio and shit. I, I, yeah, shit was, I, I, was, I, I wasn't invited. I was. I wasn't invited. You were following him on Twitter. That I, I wasn't invited. He was you fucking with me. <laughs> but that's another thing too. Like I want to point out, like no matter how much my label, TML, didn't did for me, they didn't did numerous of things for me. Like shit, I can't even explain, but. I learned from them how to hunt and get my own, too. You know, like, if I want something nice, I'm going to go get it. Like, my shit was plain Jane. I just busted. Facts. You feel me? Like, just to show them that I'm motivated. My own chain, all that. Do you feel like, because, uh, you know, artists like Kendrick and Q and Mo, it's a different artist, like, in L.A. that feel like having jewelry in it and your image as far as like being looking like niggas from the south and shit ain't ain't niggas really don't ain't really too receptive to that shit do you feel like that shit is important to you like being bust down jewelry and all that uh, coming out it shining it don't really matter because sometimes i put my shit up i don't want it to be i don't want it to be something you see every day me personally, I, I want you little shit. niggas to be out here icy. I, I ain't even gonna lie to you. you know, me personally, the West Coast needs to change. I need to see you niggas out here scene, yeah. shining, when nigga. On the scene, scene yeah. yeah. You feel yeah, me? But just on some regular shit, nigga got to have discipline. Niggas don't got no discipline. Because motherfuckers will get robbed out here. I'm about to you say it's saying? gonna cause way more confusion if anything. Outside yeah, of that, it's like this, and bro. Everybody niggas, ain't real ones. Well, with that being said, niggas know who they can play with and who they can't play so, with. I'm a nigga from the city and you know, shit, you know how I go. Niggas didn't try to play with a nigga, but shit, shit don't always go as planned. You gotta keep your head on the swivel. <laughs> yeah, for real. Is it any out of town like rappers and shit that come in and be like, you know what, I'm gonna check in with my nigga J3, you feel me? You gotta take care of him and protect him and see what it do. Uh, <laughs> see that nigga gonna, turn his face though. Gonna, that nigga said, I ain't even gonna do that. I ain't even gonna do that. <laughs> I don't wanna do that. You ain't gotta say they I'm, name. I, I'm you locked say. in with them type, hey bro. Keep <laughs> keep your relationships, man. Yeah. We're gonna fuck you up. <laughs> no, I'm we're like, gonna have you fucked guys, up out here. I'm locked in with them guys, man. <laughs> My nigga's very smart. He almost gave me that name. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. Look, yeah, man. Man, I know niggas. Shout be out Playboy in. Cardi, man. Shout out Playboy Cardi. Shout out Jay Worthy. Yeah, man. Oh, Jay Worthy, man. Yeah, I mean, because those are cool relationships to come tap in. You ain't got to be, you know what I'm nah, saying, to come family. fuck with you. But that's, that's family. Tight, though. That's family. Jay Worthy right from there. the West. That's Playboy sick. Cardi and Jay Worthy, that's family. Hey, I was tripping, bro, when I seen bro down there with a with, with weed, bro. Where? Playboy Cardi. I oh, said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, they got another one. Yeah, Playboy Cardi. They got he, another Playboy one. Playboy Cardi, low key. He, If you ask him, he, if you go listen to his shit, he giving it up for us. He banging low key. On the low, man. I just, I always wondered how do you. I can show you bump a video. the niggas be getting all with, these uh, niggas. That's what, that's I, what I said. How do you Cardi niggas get these niggas? The nigga, right nigga that had Uzi down there. That's what I'm saying. How free G Wee, man. G Wee was bringing. Free G Wee. G Wee was bringing. G Wee was bringing niggas through. Yeah. Heavy. Hey, hey, how? Hey, I was with G Wee and we saw a Birdman and he told me, hey, Birdman, check in <laughs> on my mama. <laughs> And Birdman walk right up. <laughs> you fucking lying. That's on my he don't, like, he don't like that because he used to be around Birdman. Life. He don't like that. I mean, shit. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Will's at the observatory. Will's at the observatory. 
on the hood. And That's Birdman crazy. was walking by. He was like, Birdman, check in. <laughs> and Cook came over there. And, and came right over there and introduced himself. How you doing, my brother? See, bro, but the... <laughs> See, How do you bump the niggas? Get these niggas bro, to come. Shout out to young my thug, Rose Crans and niggas, man. With him too. You niggas got good personalities. Let me tell you how crazy they is, bro. Shout out to all my niggas from the Nellis, man. Them niggas called me. They knew I knew Icewear, right? And they was like, bro, bring that nigga Icewear to the apartments, nigga. And I'm nigga two C nigga, bro, bringing Icewear Vizzo to the apartments, nigga, Campanella Park, bro. And the way they embrace that nigga, that's why he still fuck with them niggas to this day. Yeah. They know what they doing, bro. Niggas ain't trying to rob nobody. They ain't trying to make nobody, you know what I'm saying? We make niggas feel at home. They make them feel at home, bro. Yeah, these LA niggas ain't making niggas no. feel at home. Niggas trying to take from a nigga. No, that's what I said. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying. Hey. Them niggas is smart, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's motherfucking like, you don't want to hear these niggas Come name. to Bompton. Come to Compton, man. We're going to go to L.A. after that. We're going to pull up, feel me, wherever you want to go. Just point it out. That nigga got Playboy Cardi on his team. Are we gonna, <laughs> that's my guy. <laughs> are, we gonna get a, are we going to get a song? Man, I feel like sometimes you don't got to get a song because it might fuck up. Like People be mistaking this shit, this real shit for that rap shit. So, might fuck up the relationship. Yeah, it's like it ain't even fuck the relationship, just... The wrong energy sometimes. Like once you start doing music, I peep the vibes. Everybody don't be the same once you do the music. Mm-hmm. Some niggas be cool when you just fuck with them. Just fuck with them. Show love. They come pop out. You pop out to the show, whatever. Like shit like that. I know you probably because you probably had a certain point in your career. I didn't, I didn't huh? did Thanksgiving with that nigga Playboy Cardi. Flew me out to Miami and all that. Flew me out to Miami, went out there for Thanksgiving, spent it with him and his, yeah, on the real. <laughs> <laughs> Who was he? Was it, was it Iggy? <laughs> hey, man, keep your relationship. <laughs> hey, man, I don't say no names. Yeah, man, it could have been Iggy, man. Hey, the homie go ahead and hey, hey, put that in the title. <laughs> yeah. J3. J3, J3 flew out with Iggy. Playboy Cardi. With Playboy Cardi and Iggy, nah, nah, Iggy on Iggy Thanksgiving. Crazy. I did, though. I did. <laughs> Damn. This nigga big. Hey, no, you, gotta make, you gotta make the title. Uh, Iggy Azalea has to check in with J3. Oh, shit. You stupid. You a bro. cold nigga, bro. Man, look, it's family. We all family. I told y'all. Man. Snoop, too, man. Snoop Dogg. And I fuck with Snoop. He, my daddy used to be his bodyguard. Like, they fucked with each other heavy. Rest in peace, my pops. Dog, dog. Oh, that's, how they got, that's how y'all got Snoop to say bombed it in the documentary? Nah, see, I was like, you want to know what did that? Snoop just fucked with me. He fucked with me. He, I didn't see him. I didn't been at his studio at the compound. He like, hit it. You finally made it, huh? Yeah, you need to start coming. He's like, finally, you got here. Like, shit. You letting me know, like, I, I can get it in if I want to, whatever. Shit, I'll fuck with Snoop. Snoop. I, f- I feel the vibes. I feel like, I feel like now you feel like it's time. Because yeah, everybody felt, else looking at you like just waiting on you. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and the, the, everything is around you. You know what I'm saying? The pieces is around you. So now it's just on you. Yeah. you know, and bro's right? still you young, that man. You're right. You're he right. been in this shit for a long time, but bro's still young. How old are you? I'm 28. 28, yeah. yeah. That you are still young, bro. Yeah. Getting this shit around. I'm old as a bitch. Yeah, but yeah, yo, the the pieces are the pieces are around you, man. It's just all on you, like and what you do with it, and you know what I'm saying. How you take control of your your relationships, man? Because that should be it be fucked up, nigga. If you don't if you don't take control of your relationships, and then you start thinking, you know, the, it, it start time start going because shit is moving fast. So yeah, then you like, look up and you like yeah, shit. Yeah. You start killing your kids. Moving, That's me on the Kendrick album. Fast. You know what I'm saying? Or, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You start yeah, saying like yeah. I was with Playboy Cardi. Yeah, yeah. That's you a little L. To be. Get out. Little Just, L. Somebody go grab L, man. Hurry up, hurry up. We got we got 10 yeah, minutes. You gotta, you gotta get in here one, he can, one second. He can he can he can, he can go crazy for 10 minutes. He's gonna go crazy, man. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, L, that's my nigga, man. Right, I'm about to drop a project, man. The root print. Yeah. That's yeah, all. that's gonna be my project. I got some that's features all. on there. Finna do it up. Hey, you should do got it. Got some visuals. 
You Ooh. should do the cover like uh, Jay Z did the blueprint. I'm already on it. Yeah. So your next it. project you got coming out right now, man. Tell us some features you got on it. Can you or you just want to wait for a little uh, surprise? Iggy yeah. Azalea. Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got, I got Sally on there. Yeah. Sally, Sally Rue. Sally Rue. I got the young nigga HBK Jachi on there. Mm-hmm. Got some shit with him. I'm trying to see if I'm gonna put this one with Doughboy on there. Doughboy hard. Yeah, Doughboy. I've been fucking with him. He be coming out here and shit, tapping in with me. Niggas be, and them niggas be working. Yeah, he be working. Them niggas be working. He been working. Since Dude. he popped out, he been working. Do you stay, uh, like, local doing your shit, like, recording, or do we fly out A2. and shit? I oh, see? A2. A lot of niggas don't do that shit. Shout out Street Symphony. That's my guy. He be making What's beats up, and shit. Dude? He made that uh, <laughs> mama by Yo Gotti. What's up, man? What's up, G? What up, really? He nah. made that mama by Yo Gotti, the nigga Street Symphony. Yeah. My yeah. nigga Lil L, man. <laughs> hey, this is my really right here, real what brass. nigga, man. <laughs> Y'all got to excuse me. I'm yeah, man. It's Kendrick Lamar, best friend. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, and we're nigga. talking about, I'm talking about every time we do a nigga from the ghetto, a motherfucker got to be late. This nigga, 54 minutes. Late, you know what I'm saying? He uh, he ain't beat my homie. Bro, I see him like my fault. I see him like once a year. That's my fault, blood. Yeah, yeah, fault. Hey, look, I woke up, my keys was gone. So you know, <laughs> I, told, I, told, I, told, I told this nigga to come get me. He ain't come it get me. It was four in the morning. We was saying Call of Duty all night. <laughs> we was going crazy. That's why nigga key on Call of Duty. Y'all niggas ain't playing, huh? Nigga trying to get a streaming deal. Yeah, hey, do the little uh, Rosecrans gaming. Uh, I'm trying to do a PG Layman game. Ooh. Oh, nigga, he nigga, just flexed nigga, on us. This kid's your best friend. You know what I'm saying? Where kid you get? He flexed on us. This kid's your homie. You know what I'm saying? Nah, hell no. Nah. Call kid you right now. Wait, nigga, get you. Right, so you call me right now. Face time, kid you right now. He'll answer right now for sure. Face time, kid you right now, nigga. Don't do it right now. Don't do it, L. Don't do it, L. Don't do it to him, blah, blah. I can't let that go. Don't do it to him, blah, blah. Fuck it. He'll be mad as fuck. Don't do it to him, blah, blah. <laughs> Call All that right, nigga right now. Look. <laughs> oh, you lucky we ain't live, nigga. Shit, that shit to go crazy. He'll do that shit though. We could. You gonna That's drop right. your shit? Uh, the bad fellas. That shit coming out this summer for real. Uh, RP my nigga Tone Tone too, man. Yeah, man. Long live Tiny. Long live Melly. Yeah, long live Baby all Black. The guys. Long live Benzo. I'm buying yeah. that. So, so what you got coming out? Uh, shit, right now we working on the bad fellas project. And then shit, I'ma do probably one more project, like solo. And then I'ma get one in with Jay Worthy, uh, Hitter. And Hitta, then I'ma get one in sure. with Key for sure. You feel me? Other than that shit, I'm I'm about to just chill, bro. Do this tour shit, and then uh. Wait, you going on tour? Who? Shit, I ain't popping names. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't saying that. I can't. Hey, look, I can't pop names. I didn't, I didn't mean for. I didn't mention that. Name, I didn't mention that. This nigga just said he went to. I got in trouble last time. This nigga just said he went to. Wait, what you get in trouble for? Today's getting with, the get with got, Playboy Cardi and Iggy. You got to yeah, pop a name. Yeah, I did. Wait, wait, what you get in trouble for? This shit in my hand. Nigga. I got in trouble for this shit, man. So you know, I got I got punished on the tour for the tour and shit. But you know, this one I'm I'm really gonna just chill and just really be cool. But I'm really gonna stick to managing and and or certain other homies and getting them niggas places that I ain't never been. So that's my main focus right now. Man, so yeah. you got a lot you got a lot of relationships built and shit like that to help a lot of artists. Yeah, for sure. This yeah, nigga get, been helping me. Who you think be on me? I gotta let the people know. He said man. PG Lang, man. He cold. <laughs> you gonna sign you, nigga? It's please. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of creativity going on over there, man. As far as the videos, I'll be seeing commercials, you know what I'm saying? Everything yeah, the that niggas, niggas is doing, man. Dave over there, he hard. Dave yeah. doing this shit, him and bro just bouncing off of ideas with each other. Like, you know, them niggas, them niggas just real niggas, and I'm just yeah. happy they in the situation they in, bro. I'm just proud of them. They got great people around them and shit. Yeah. Man. Hey, I just told him when, uh, when, when we pulled up on them, uh, and we was hollering at, at him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you See, look. Oh, these niggas, that, these niggas shit on this. We the studio this. popping it, man. He telling me I'm showing him the new videos, all the shit. I mean, how, how I much? I gave him a jacket. Oh, yeah. Slide now, laugh later, man. That's my merch. We finna do it up, man. Stay oh, tuned. Oh, and this shit ain't nothing but water, too, y'all. So I just want y'all to know I'm drinking water now, you know, in the gym. Dan ain't really on niggas. 
I tell yeah. you, I drank that. I drank that shit one time, nigga. I was like, I ain't fucking with this shit no more, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I was sleep for twenty four hours. Oh See me, God. I don't like three hours. I don't. I ain't gonna lie. I, don't, I wasn't doing that shit. Like when I do do that shit, I wasn't doing that shit for like to be high, bro. I was doing that shit to get a like you know get get away from my problems and like you feel me depression and shit. You know that shit makes shit go away for a couple couple days or a couple hours and shit, but then it come back. So nigga, a nigga could take a break from that shit. It don't got me. But dealing with this music shit or do that shit, um, you know, take a toll on you as far as depression and shit like that. And, you know what I'm saying, how you get over it? <clears throat> this music shit, bro, I know how to deal with that shit because, you know, you're going to run into real niggas. You're going to run into fake niggas. And it's just like I tell my little homies, like, bro, you can't make all these rap niggas be your friend because these rap niggas only want one thing from you to either be affiliation or they want something to be a, like, you know, a video or something like so, you know, you use them. So when they come to your hood or whatever the case may be, nigga, you not a rapper. You introduce yourself as you and let them niggas know you ain't on no rapper time, no groupie time, none of that. On See, that's how they, get, that's how they Man, do you it. you bumped in niggas as politicians. No, nah, it's not being a politician. It's about <laughs> I told letting, you, bro. It's about <laughs> letting a nigga know who you is and you feel me and what you stand for on the hood. Yeah, so why you Compton Crip niggas can't do that shit? Shit, they do. <laughs> we do it. I'm With mindful. who? Nigga, you see what we doing now? Do you it. ain't doing it with Playboy Cardi, motherfucker. They, they don't know blood like that. They, 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 they ain't got no that nigga like hey, that. Once they, they, once they go to that side, rich. once they go to that side, they stay over there. Roddy man. Rich ain't fucking with you niggas no more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this nigga, nigga first. Roddy Rich. Yeah, that nigga Roddy Rich said, I'm tired of this shit. Nigga, I'm up out of here. Yeah, you who you This nigga cool. funny, man. I'm bossing. I like blood. <laughs> yeah, y'all niggas crazy, man. Man, I was oh, telling man. you, know, y'all niggas need to, see, need to start inviting us to some shit. You feel me? I want to come mingle and jingle and fuck I'm with it. I'm going to save some of this new music. You trying to use y'all niggas. I'm going to invite I'm this nigga over here. Yeah, save me something. Do something. Hey, I'm going to keep it real, bro. <laughs> I ain't been really stepping out for real other than with the homies because like, you know, some niggas like, I just don't, sometimes you gotta make yourself not too accessible to going to nigga shit. Nigga leave you outside at the door for real. So a nigga ain't, nigga ain't gonna ever get a chance to say that on me. So nigga don't be, nigga don't be showing up to nigga studio sessions, no none of that shit no more, fool. Man, tell niggas how hard it is to build these relationships and keep these motherfuckers because it's a lot of fake mm. shit going on and a lot of niggas lying out here in this fucking industry. I ain't gonna lie, it's real hard. You just gotta know who genuine. I go off of genuineness. You feel me? And yeah. I go off of how a nigga move and his character and energy. And that's how you gonna go from there, for real. And if a nigga show you something different, then that's when you show him something different. Get rich. Yeah, I mean, did you have that problem like my boy hit it to where, you know, you feel like you was one foot in and one foot out, nigga, and this music shit, and it's just like, fuck, I don't know whether I'm going to take these streets, nigga, I'm going to do this music, you know what I'm saying? When did you make your mind? You better not lie. I'm looking at him. Man, that nigga didn't call. That nigga didn't call me. I did. Really? I'm like, oh I hated, man. I hated this shit, bro. I was around this nigga, eighty and worthy a lot, bro. Mm -hmm. So, like, right now. This nigga Kendrick and Dave be on my ass about going to the hood and it's like, you know, like I had this talk with Nip when he let me listen to the album at Louis Tay House. Like, bro, that's my main goal is not to go to the hood, bro. But it's hard when you're getting off the plane and you just sitting in the house playing video games, not doing nothing, no money flowing, no nothing. And it's like they don't want a nigga in jail. So I understand what they saying. So a nigga do be trying not to go, but it's hard. So a nigga end up over there because of the niggas that I love and fuck with on an everyday basis. But they can come to my house. But yeah. you know what? I live so far, they don't want to drive there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best That's shit, the though. Truth. Yeah, for real. Other damn hobbies. Fuck it. Are, they, are, are Dave and, and Kendrick creating lanes for you to where, you know what I'm saying, they could put some money in your pocket and you ain't got to really worry about that? They already did that shit. I be in five-star hotels with them, like, you know, going to the studios with them out of town, like, you know, certain shit that I don't I don't broadcast because, you know, Tell my me. privacy is at stake right now. Nigga. And they, they, they watching everything, so a nigga try not to my put that shit on. My boy sound different. I love this. I love it here. That nigga that was, said my privacy Nah, my boy stake. sound different. That was about yeah. I love it. For real. That was about to introduce us to Kodak. Right. Now, nigga, they they put me in position like far as a career over there. So you know, I just I'm just forever thankful. They put your ass in the meeting, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They I sat you down. But nigga, no, he said shit. He is he's articulating himself very motherfucking well. Hey. Oh, shit, yo. Dave, you are going to be really proud because Dave's going to look at this shit. You I know was what supposed saying? to be in For Africa, real. nigga, but uh, we didn't get my motherfucking passport in, in time. Like so, you know, I just. You know, I couldn't go to uh, Africa, me and J-Real, so, you know, we're going to do the tour. 
Man, usually when you know what I'm saying you have your flight and itinerary, they give it to you like 24 hours, like. But I, that shit happens to me. Nah, and my girl just yeah, got to expedite that shit. Yeah, because me and the my girl just went this. to Turkey and they just they fucked us the, on that the shit. The thing is this, I got some complications like <laughs> far as getting my shit, and mm. bro was gonna take care of it. So in order, we we couldn't take care of it in time because of the album. You feel me? Was coming out, and I ain't want to make it seem like, bro, I need you to do this. When the, his team really like telling me, well, so is you going to Africa and all that? I'm like, nah, you know what? Just focus on that. We'll figure it out before the tour get here. On, I will just do the states. Oh, okay. So yeah. you feel me? It's just like I didn't want to be a burden. Like, bro, I need you to do this because your team on me about this. Nah, we just gone. I was there before. I was a burden. I'm, you know, long as it wasn't child support keeping me back, I was cool. You feel me? But. Yeah. <laughs> What hey, hey, everybody, I heard you. Everybody quiet. I heard you. I everybody quiet. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Hey, every nigga, every, every, how every many nigga put their hands, hands down. You feel me? This nigga right here. God damn it. How many kids you niggas got, man? One. One? How many kids you got? I got two. Two kids? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I love my kids, man. It's good to be Mine's a father teenager. out here. Teenager? Mine's teenager. Nigga, how old are you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, hey, hey, don't tell him. You gotta yeah, yeah, yeah. keep your yeah. privacy, yeah, man. Yeah. Get the truth. yeah, man. Mine's teenagers, man. I'm just happy to be here, you know, able to, uh, you know, support them and shit. I'm saying that like my baby ain't 13. Shit, my, one my of, daughter one 13, of 13, too. too. Yeah, mine 13. Yeah, I don't give a fuck, man. I love my kids to death. I bro. love mine too. That's sick, you know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes they mama be tripping. I mean, he know more than me. I'm seeing about baby mamas tripping and doing all the shit, man. Hey, man, trying to make it, trying to take it day by day. And I can only imagine you over here with Kendrick, man. I don't know. That shit is crazy. Like, nigga, you think you gonna go to Africa? Nigga, <laughs> fuck you. In Africa. <laughs> <laughs> you want to start the gaming? So what's yeah. up? What y'all think about the album, man? What's y'all right. what favorite song? You know, you know what's crazy though. Me and this nigga be arguing with people over the album, though. And what they saying? You know how niggas is. They ain't expecting that type that of articulate hard. shit, man. My first favorite part of all, time, though. I like artistry. That shit hit me. First of all, I like artistry. You know what I'm saying? Like Rich Spirit. See, and then count, you know what I'm saying? I like Rich Spirit, but. Auntie I like, Diaries, too. <laughs> see, but I'm going to keep it real. I like shit. artistry. I like, I like to read into where, shit. And where all motherfuckers, that. Look, where motherfuckers fucking up at when they getting albums and shit confused with mixtapes and just. Just shit, bro. It's just like they don't they don't get a real meaning of an album to a tape, bro. So they just get music of vibes or music of raves or certain shit. They not speaking on certain shit that they supposed to be speaking on. And that's not an album, bro. That's just music for your ears. So they really trying to judge It's microwavable shit. Yeah, you though. feel me? You like And I feel like that's not what the people think. That's what these vlogs, Dude. vlogs think. That's what these writers think. That's what these niggas think. That's the, that's they take and that's they narrative. They trying to push out to the people, but the people actually love it. Yeah. Niggas, you know niggas got mad at the me. People, the people, the people is fucking with it. Niggas got mad at me for saying I said other than his first album. To me, that's my favorite album that he made. Niggas you know, got mad at me for saying that. You know why though? This nigga is talking about shit that he ain't never ever thought about talking about and giving them shit a part of his life. Like so, but you ain't, know, ain't that what niggas want? Ain't you no, want to hear about nah, these niggas want to hear about smoking weed, drinking lean, popping perks, yeah. money bags, everybody bitches. chasing the bag, blood, and them niggas is lame, bro. But that nigga really don't even really rap about that type of shit going crazy. He's rapping anyway. about what's really going on in the world and his life, fool, and why he ain't been on a fucking earth for the fucking Instagram and shit, nigga. And niggas need to listen. I, I mean, I, I, I can, I can see about the, I can relate to the father shit. I can relate to arguing with my. That bitch. shit hit me. I was like, Ooh. I can relate to all of this shit. Like, nigga, I'm listening. I can relate. I can fuck with it. So I don't know what niggas talking Only about. I don't listen to no vlogs. Yeah, on Even God. You? And I, I, I don't listen to no vlogs and all that shit. I don't give a fuck about the first week number and the, this that number. And he didn't do this. I got a question, that AD. Shit. For real, I want you to tell me the truth. Come on. Are you happy for me? Yeah, of course, man. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> <laughs> really? Are you happy That's for me? Hard, <laughs> but really? <laughs> that shit is hard. ADB, me and ADB going up about this shit, man. Oh, no, we be, we be tripping over the shit. I, but over look, the album, I swear to God. Since you in, in, what's the talks amongst the group? 
you know what I'm saying, about what's being spoke about, you know what I'm saying, out here on the other side. As far as? As far as, like, what the people talking about as far as the album. Amongst in a group. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, what y'all talking about? Because I know motherfuckers is talking about the number, the first week numbers, or this ain't a traditional Kendrick album. Like, what does Dave and Kendrick feel about this shit? Like, what, like, what the people talking about? How we, they feel? We don't. You know, see how he said, no, 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 no. See how he we, said we. We don't be on social media to are around each other, even talk about it. We just move forward. Far as we don't care, the numbers gonna talk for itself. The people gonna talk for itself. Everybody entitled to their own yeah. opinion. And at the end of the day, we know what we doing, and we know what it's gonna do. So we just have, we just living life and taking care of the families and shit, and doing back doing shit for the communities in our hood. So the goal yeah. is just move forward, nigga, That's and on it. to the next. Straight. You feel me? That's exactly what I'll be seeing. Because the, the more you worry about that type of shit, bro, the more you, you know, gray hairs and all that shit. And it's like, what is you stressing for? You knowing what you're doing and who you are. Yeah. See, but that's what I'll be telling him, too. I'll be like, bro, you just got to take this shit. Don't even matter what nobody say. As long as you happy with yourself and I what you're doing. This nigga AD, I used to be scared to drop music. Nigga, now, that, sure. now that a nigga just around Key, J3, YS, Wiley, certain niggas, bro, like they bring it out of a nigga. Hop out. You feel me? So at the end of the day, it's like, my you can't do out, nothing. Man. You can't can't be scared if you ain't like you know. The more you be scared of that shit, bro. The more they ain't gonna know, or you ain't gonna never be able to grow from your mistakes or learn. Bro, they gonna talk about you when you're not doing nothing. They gonna talk about you when you're doing something. When you when That's they think you're not doing is. something, That's they gonna say you is. fell off. When you come got, back, they gonna say shit. I got shit. a homie on a Playboy Cardi uh, wave right now. Sue, he got the PFN and the, uh, the Prevalar shit going. Thirty shots, a little clothing and shit. He in a fashion, but he hard like. Like he's coming for them niggas spots. Yeah. So before we get out of here, I want y'all niggas to make sure y'all shout out to everybody that's coming out. Labels, Instagrams, everything y'all doing. Let hey, the people get know the what's homie. up. Keep him over here too. Yeah. Let's see your face, man. Share some light on we, nigga yeah, too. Yeah, before we go, man, Look, everybody that nigga happy he was watching. right now. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, bro. Y'all, y'all. Shout out everything. Man, yeah, shout out you what you doing, know, what you got coming up. Nigga, mixtape, album, whatever, you feel me? Project on the way, man. The root print, man. Tune in, man. Hit a J3. My Instagram, hit a J3. TML, H I T T A J number three, T M L. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, man. Free the guys, nigga. Free them boys. And your project coming out. What's your project name? The root print. The root print. The root print. Rules. Rule print. Yeah. What you got, my boy? Shit, my name uh Key Riches, you feel me? Go oh, crazy, man. get rich, shit. nigga. Nah, get rich, <laughs> nigga. Get rich, man. If y'all know man, I can check out the movie. My bro on makes my shit, blow my out the big K E E R I C H E S, man. You feel me? Close, whatever. Like, he the first me? nigga I ever mixtapes. seen, nigga, do the hundred dollar mixtape, nigga. Yeah. Feel me? And nigga they getting that shit, nigga now, nigga they tapping in, nigga. From out the motherfucking country. That's right. That motherfucker. This really my partner crying when it come back to this community shit. Other than uh Kendrick and shit, you know. For real. For real. Yeah, so man. what you got going, my boy? Oh uh, man, I got uh Ian Secret right there. He got managing the homies, you know, and R and shit. Uh she rare coming, that's one of my artists. She a female artist. Uh Long Beach? The homegirl? Nah, hell no. Nah. That's my that's my dog though right there. Oh yeah. On the hood. <laughs> all but, all uh, right. I got all hop right. out. Hop out for the drop another tape. Shout out to Hop out, man. That's my nigga. I got Hop out for the drop another tape. Uh, shit, like I said, y'all already heard that we got some, we got some shit coming and all that. Uh, shit, my Instagram, I'm underscore Luck Junior. Same as the chain on the hood. Uh, yeah, he whacked, he whacked us out. Nah. Just like <laughs> <laughs> he whacked us out. So. And, and we on Twitter. No, no, put it up. Put it up again. That's why he turned his head. That's why he turned his head. That's why he turned his head. We trying to so grow look, out here. That's my nigga. nigga. I love him. Hey, look, look, don't listen to AD, man, because I love my content crib niggas. Like, you hear me? But you know it's all respect. Like, you know, I can shout out Dirt. Shout out to Uncle Dirt. I can have some disrespectful shit. I can have some respectful shit. Like, and. For me, I'm gonna do the respectful shit because that's just me and my heart, and I know niggas that's real kind of curse that that laid the carpet out for me, even Max. the L.A. Crips, nigga. So, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, nigga, I'm just a respectful nigga, but I'm on that if you on that. Facts. Yeah. Feel me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's been a good interview, man. Got my homies here, bruh, and we are out. Westside.